Hi guys, I'm Steve-O, this is Tarantula Tactic Enclosures, and this is a zombie build. Welcome back. Right, today we are doing a zombie enclosure. This is in a 30 by 30 by 30 exoterra. If you're planning to do a cocoa fiber background, this is the one to watch. I've also done another recent video on Friday the 13th build. Check out that video back there uh, if you've not seen it already. If you're new to the channel, please check out all the other videos. There's tons and tons and tons of horror themed, other themed and normal enclosure builds on there, plus a load of mixed up tarantula stuff in there as well. So hopefully there's loads and loads and loads to keep you entertained. But today is, uh, there's zombies. Right, I've had this uh, little zombie statue thing for a little while and I've um, been thinking about what sort of enclosure to put it in. So I had a little idea and as I've got a little bit of time off work, um, I thought we might as well just get cracked onto it. This is a warm up for my big build that I always do it every single Halloween for um, my group, Exotic Pets Enclosure Design on Facebook. Uh, we, I always do it a massive one to go alongside the Halloween competition that's coming up at the minute. So keep your eyes out for that. Apart from that, guys, let's get right down to it. Thank you for watching. Right guys, this is the start of the build. We've got 3D print here. You can use, obviously you could get this one printed if you have a 3D printer, or you could just use a piece of wood or thick plastic shaped in the same way. And what we started doing here is we've got a pot mixed up. This is um, outdoor waterproof PVA glue. And in we've got craft sand from your craft shop. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna paint around and try and give this boring old flat piece of um, 3D print some texture. So once it's painted, it will look a bit more rocky. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna try and go around the outside more, around there, and then just build the whole thing up until it's all covered. Um, what I'm gonna do is try and maybe write something in the sand say r.i.p or something in on the tombstone but let's see how it all comes out Right, as you can see from there, we've sort of built it up around the edges. We've also dabbed the PVA all over to give it sort of a texture, put little bits of sand added in there. So it's giving it sort of that 3D look. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna let the, let the front dry and then we're gonna go around and do the sides. I'd usually do the back as well, but we're gonna be fitting this onto the background. So we're just gonna do a bit around the sides and then we'll let it all dry and then base coat it and paint it. But yeah, I think that'll look quite cool once it's done. You'll see what I mean, why the reason for doing this once it's sprayed and then we've started adding paint because then it'll pick up all them nice little cool little bits of texture. So we've base coated it and as you can see where we've done the sand it's added all that lovely texture to it. This will be picked up even further when we start applying the next lot of paint. It's just gone from flat horrible plastic to giving it a bit of depth now. As you see I've built it up around the sides to emphasize the, the curve 
and covered that through around the top. Some of that, the top and sides will be covered up, so it's only really the front that we're actually going to see. Next, we'll paint that. As we can see what I've done, I mounted the cup that's going to be in the hide. I used a little shot glass to hold it in place. It's basically just to hold it in place until we get the expanding foam. So we put a load of glue either side so that's solid enough so we can start adding the expanding foam. All right, we've added a couple of branches and other bits. Now we're just going to expand it. Foam. We've done the light on its back. So we're going to do the back first. Give it a good shake. Use it upside down. And we're going to just... There you go, right, all the expanding foam's done. So we've got that nice little hide coming down over there. Tombstone mounted. Another branch coming through that way. Starting to work out. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna wait for it to dry 24 hours and then start carving it away and making a nice shape. So guys, what we've done, we've done a rough, and I mean rough, just shape. Now with this, because we're going out over in cocoa fibre, you can be as rough as you like. Just hack it to pieces. The more you hack it, the rougher it looks, the better the end result seems to be. There is no, this is probably the easiest background that you can do. As you see, it's just a bit of a mess. But once the next step, we're going to cover it with aquarium silicone and then stick the substrate straight on there. And then you'll see how it just sort of comes together. And it doesn't really matter what this end effect. I, I see a lot of people, they start and then they go, oh no, well, the, the, the foam didn't look right. But once you cover it with cocoa fiber, it looks looks great so what we're going to do now we're going to mask up around the top as you can see i've just added a couple of loose bits of um foam onto the glass just to build up so it goes a bit up the wall we're going to stop it about where them end bits are there but yeah the silicone will go actually onto the glass as well so we're going to mask up around the top so we don't, it um, saves a lot of cleaning up and then we'll get to it. So guys, we're all ready, mask everything up. Now this is the stuff you need, it's called HA6, marine grade silicon sealant in black. Basically my way of thinking, if it's safe for slip fish, it's safe for anything. I got this off eBay, I think I paid £12 for three tubes. Um, I should only need one on this, it's not a massive, massive background. But we've got loads of bits to go in, obviously there's a bit around here that's um, that needs doing because of the 
the frame has come over and I want to keep that shape rather than the circle. But yeah, use gloves and then it's just basically smear every single bit and everywhere you want white masked up the edges. There, that saves a little bit of cleaning up, but you want to get right in everywhere underneath. But what we're going to do, we're going to start in the whole bit first and then work our way out, probably from the bottom up. Um, it goes off quite quickly, so don't uh, hang about on it. Just smear it, smear it, smear it, smear it all over. A nice thick coat over everything. And then what we've got here, we've got it's Spider Life substrate mixed with some barky or barky stuff. I'm going for a different sort of effect on this one to see if it works or it all could go horribly wrong. Let's have a look. Now guys, apart from a little bit of touching up on the tombstone, that's about it, but I kind of like the effect using the orc bark inside, it's giving you a little bit different effect. I'm really liking that hide. But yeah, it comes together. It shows how easy it and how much it covers over what you think looks a complete mess. It just blends into the background. Now what you need to do now, you need to air this out, depending on where you put it. If it's a summertime, which we're going into winter now, but if you can get it outside, it'll air out a lot quicker. Um, outside, you're probably looking at a day or so. Inside, Probably about the same, you've just got to keep it in a well ventilated room because it does pen and ink a bit. But yeah, so goes to show you. Plus, round the side, you see all the manky bits around the side. I hate that, so what we're going to do with with vinyl wrapping it now. All my tanks are vinyl wrapped around the outside so I don't get to see that manky nastiness. So what we're going to do, let it dry. Any over bits like this, we're going to just trim off around the side just to make it a bit neater. We'll just use that with a, um, once it's harder, Stanley blade and just shape it a little bit more around the side just to neaten it all up. But I think that looks okay. Right, we're, what we're going to do, we're going to air it out and then come back to trimming it off and finishing it off the tank. So there we are guys, we added the zombie, I uh, also done my little trick of the water bowl hidden inside a piece of cork bark, I just use a plastic tube inside a bit of cork bark that hides the water dish, but it's alright, I think the only thing we've got to do now is add the black vinyl to the sides to make it look a little bit more darker. So we've got leaf litter. I'm quite happy about how the hide sort of turned out. I think that's really cool. Gave the um, tombstone a little bit of a touch up where it had been scratched during the uh, process of putting the silicone and everything else on. But I think, yeah, that's cool. So what we're going to do now, we're going to have a look and see what it looks like set up with some lights on it. With the lights on it, these enclosures always pop. So I'm quite happy with that one. It wasn't exactly a massive build. But I think it's turned out okay. Let me know in the comments. Just need to find a 
Yeah, or maybe it should be a green bit of blue in here, maybe. We'll find something cool to go in. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that one. I quite like the darker background using the spider life. I don't usually use it for a substrate, but um, we used it on the alien enclosure build that we've done recently because I wanted a sort of darker substrate, but I think it works out quite well. Um, also mixing that orc bark really has given it a nice um, sort of texture. I'm sort of wishing I'd done that with the Friday the 13th one now, it wouldn't have made it. Um, I think the just blank cocoa fibre was a little bit blank, so um, you live and learn. But maybe um, on the next one and future ones, I'll definitely be doing it this way because it's it added a little bit extra to it. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed that video and it's given you a few ideas to start something out, else out on your own. Please, please do keep an eye on the group Exotic Pets Enclosure Design for the Halloween competition coming up very, very soon in a couple of days. Um, all the bits and pieces will be announced. But that is, uh, it's the annual event and every, um, we, we love it on there. It's, uh, you know, means you can create a, a nice spooky enclosure and possibly win a prize. Apart from that, guys, please always thumbs it up or unthumbs it up, whatever you like. Um, please comment down below. I love reading all your comments and stuff. Um, maybe uh, an idea of what to put in this new enclosure. Um, I'm not actually decided what tarantula we're going to put in there. It still needs airing out a little bit, so we're going to leave it a, a few more days until the smell's completely gone before we try and introduce any more spiders. But I will be doing another short video of when we rehouse the new occupant. Apart from that, guys, always hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. It does notify you of upcoming videos. Doesn't cost you a penny, but it does mean a lot to me. The more views I get, the more the channel grows. Um, <laughs> But as always, thank you so much for all your support. You guys have been ace. And apart from this one, we will be working on the new Halloween build coming up very, very shortly. Um, I haven't had any new tarantulas in a while, so maybe we'll make a purchase and get one in for this new tank, depending what your comments are down below of what you think should go in there. Apart from that, guys, thank you very much. And I shall see you later. Ta.